Hi students, this is Dr. Hemant and along with me is Dr. Vijay. We are faculty for medical oncology at Doc Tutorials. And today we are here to interview Dr. Mahek. Uh, Dr. Mahek is our rank number five NEET SS medical oncology this year. Hi Mahek. Hi sir. So good to have you here. First of all, congratulations to, for being there on the top and you have all choices what you want. Before we proceed to the actual thing about oncology, uh, let us know your background on your academic past. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, I did my MBBS from uh, Dhyanan Medical College, Ludhiana, Punjab. And then I went on to pursue my MD medicine from Diva Patil, Navi Mumbai. And now I am trying to pursue my uh, DM medical oncology dream. Yeah. Uh, the I trying to pursue is kind of almost done. You just need the counseling to happen and you're there. Fantastic. So uh, it is quite unusual for, uh, means I am always curious on how and why people take up medical oncology. Okay, because I, I know my past, I know so many people who would not want to take up medical oncology, but why medical oncology? Uh, medical oncology definitely was not the first option when you opt for becoming a doctor. You see majorly, you know, like other common branches. So uh, like everyone, I think I wanted to become a surgeon throughout my MBBS career. I found the adrenal rush in the surgeons. And moreover, I, I was so precise that I wanted to become a neurosurgeon. But then as you mature in your own field, you, you get to know what you actually want and what, what was an amateur dream and what you actually want to go for. And then I did three months of oncology post MBBS. It was just a brief, you know, go in, come out. Just for, you know, to refresh myself, post my MBBS to, you know, again, prepare myself for another NEET PG. Uh, that time, oncology was very, it, every term in oncology was new. There was nothing that I could carry from my MBBS to oncology posting, except, and that time you actually got to know nausea, vomiting was so much more than what you just know in MBBS. Right. So then that maybe those baby steps carried me towards MD medicine. And even during MD medicine, no exposure of oncology except for, you know, long question, multiple myeloma, 20 marks, Hodgkin's lymphoma. I don't think so. Non-Hodgkin's was also a part of the important questions much. But uh, then COVID happened in our final year. So we got a little more time to study. And it's, a, it's like a paradox. We got more time during COVID. But it, it was like fixed eight hours duty. So post eight hours, we had all the time. So we, I opened oncology book. I asked around seniors. I happened to, you know, just randomly type medical oncology on Facebook. And I luckily got into some, bumped into someone who got a rank one previous to previous year. So I asked him, it was like very uh, just casual, like how to study medical oncology. And then the first book, which everyone tells is this Casey to Washington Manual. So I got that book. So all books, Harrison part one, then this case I took part one, part two, all sat on my library table, started to read one by one, page by page, page by page. It is very difficult to understand medical oncology. Definitely. It was all overhead transmission. Tried reading, tried reading. You don't want to give up. You don't want to give up. But then usually you just like close it. You read your stuff, medicine stuff, you get pass, and then you take the next step. So I applied for uh, Tata Memorial Hospital senior residency. I'll give a have some work experience and then I'll go through it and then we'll see how what to do. Uh, then I joined Tata Memorial Hospital. It was been, it, medical oncology being totally new. The place was very actually receptive for me. Uh, the res senior residents whom I met and the faculty whom I met, they were very welcoming and you know, they teach you from the start because they know no one knows about medical oncology. So getting to know that, trying to read, but it is, you have to actually keep on reading. You cannot just work and then it's gone. You have to, you know, at least one hour, two hours per day, just go and try to read what you have uh, seen patients, try to read, then try, try to make a timetable because, you know, eventually you have to crack the need assess. There is no, you can't just do work experience in oncology and then practice oncology. So that was a major thing that, yes, now I have to crack need assess so that I can practice oncology. So then I think maybe three, four months into uh, Tata Memorial Hospital, you got to know that I will do oncology and I will prepare for it. 
then picked up books tried to understand every patient tried to understand every gene tried to understand all the methods it was difficult but it is not undoable right so i i think you actually told a very important point which i have been stressing but unfortunately due to the exam pattern where previously we know that the super speciality entrance had an uh, interview session where they would ask what is your work experience in that particular field so somehow i am kind of keen to the old method that somebody who has a work experience should be probably given a preference uh, reason for that you really know in case this person enjoys the subject or not every super speciality is great there's nothing uh, good or bad but you need to enjoy and be passionate about it otherwise kind of it just becomes a routine part of your life uh, you just kind of stop enjoying things afterwards and probably not, not going ahead so probably working is very important and once you work you really know it, uh, is medical oncology your subject or not it's not everyone's subject uh, probably other subjects are much easier you have much more exposure during your md days uh, dm oncology especially the exposure is much lesser even for me the exposure was much less and uh, yes i i too studied like you with the kciato open the book absolutely no understanding of why there is ac why there is fac why there is fcc everything for breast cancer when you can just have one simple probably diuretic like either lasix or uh, torsamide for uh, cardiac failure uh, here you have n number of drugs n number of toxicities n number of complications and n number of modifications so it takes a while for you to actually understand what you're doing and once that happens i think it's just a, a smooth flow that things go in that your whole thought process changes uh, and uh, definitely oncology is a wonderful field uh, sure we are going to have a great oncologist uh, vijay over to you hi mahesh hi, hi sir congrats too much very good uh, rank 5 right good thank you sir so so how was your journey uh, preparation so you tell us how did you prepare all about in your uh, sr ship and also post sr ship how did doctor tutorials come into the play everything so i had joined tata memorial around october 2020 and uh, i started you know taking baby steps from there trying to understand how to even approach yeah. a system in breast what you need to know in head and neck what you need to know and then first step in it, i tried to understand the systems and then i tried to understand the basics of oncology so i took a reverse turn i did not do uh, first the introductory part because i think one page of devita introductory part was equivalent to reading reading 100 pages of harrison so it was i couldn't do it that anyway, way ultimately so, you have to understand things that is what it is about yeah so uh, i started preparing very small small you know giving one to one hour two hours because the tata memorial the workload is very hectic you start opds by 8:30 and you finish off by uh, 6:37 the opds so i was posted only in opds luckily not in wards so post 7:30 to come back and i tried to read at least one two hours per day from the day starting day so that consistency you have to maintain because no one post md actually takes a break for 12 months to prepare for neat ss i i don't think so it is necessary also but you have to be consistent even with those one or two hours throughout your uh, even your working uh, life and then i think post couple of months i was just randomly going through you know everyone all seniors were telling which coaching institute you have started what you are doing which mcq book you are reading and i i was blank i'm like i have not thought of you know i do not have the patience you know to sit and go through the entire how we had a neat pg coaching to you know go through hours and hours of videos and not read myself because this is like something i need to understand myself so then i i just went through i think telegram was the first place i saw doc tutorials they the it flashed doc tutorials i was searching for test series basically so doctor tutorials was the only medical oncology where test series were available separately and you don't have to opt for videos plus test series and uh, test series i saw those test series and that was i think perhaps at that point of time the only option available and it was uh, pretty cheap compared to so many Thank other you. coaching <laughs> like so i clicked on it it was like uh, i think i had missed one test or something and then i i was very particular that i will give all the tests and the 48 hour window was there gave all the tests and uh, the tests was one thing and the post 
test we had a discussion i think post every two tests or yeah. three tests every... however the time suited all the residents because i think everyone was working including uh, sir and uh, vijay sir mm-hmm. and himan sir so however the scheduled was and it luckily fell for everyone because late hours were pretty much i think convenient for everyone post 6 post 7 mm-hmm. so those hours of discussion those two hours of discussion two to three hours i think it would go on to sometimes i think they were the major factor that helped me pass through this exam sit on the chair see all the weird mcqs striking you and you know to think right and to think that you can think right and have the confidence to you know tick and uh, go through it i think it came from those two to three hours of discussions definitely i at then uh, i think uh, the videos uh, also were uh, loaded and then i saw through the videos it was a good revision by the time the videos were loaded i had uh, major i had finished uh, much of the portion with the test series actually so the videos were uh, the videos came at a correct time where you wanted to revise so you could revise all the videos you could see them they were very apt you know like point to point you needn't know much extra from it and you couldn't lose on it there were some points actually if you see through the videos and the discussions very very closely most of the questions from medical oncology part were there in some form of the other in the videos or the discussions which we had they were very they obviously the paper was such that you know you cannot expect line by line and uh, same mcqs to be repeated so if you can go and take the crux back sit in the page and take out your pages take out your notes you'll definitely find some form of the other of the mcq there most of the mcqs except yeah, rt that... medicine and feeds which i did not attempt <laughs> Yeah, that yeah. was. Thank you, thank you so much. Yeah, thank yeah, you so much, sir. Easy. For that was it helped. It definitely helped. It is not for anyone. It is, I don't. It's not for you know like just because I was a part of and I got a rank. Even if I would have gotten a below rank, I would have said the same thing that it gave you the confidence to answer. And then you know like having test series also. All the test series were ranked. Though it was just out of thirty people, out of forty people. but that gave you the confidence ki yes you are going in the right direction and it gave you the confidence that everyone preparing is preparing as per your level only no one is yeah. you know like uh, <laughs> preparing extra extra and uh, you know we don't have anyone you know like who might actually be way above we had a we had a fear that rt people have an extra edge definitely they might have an extra edge maybe i don't know but uh, medicine people can do it very can can sail through it though you do not have oncology background and you are the proof now so you need not explain <laughs> that yeah uh, yeah i am from medicine vijay is from pediatrics uh, good uh, so yes so whenever we try to do the discussion we actually were kind of how would probably we approach this okay so if this question was there how would we probably approach Uh, what was our thought process in mind? That is what we tried sharing with you. That how I'll probably eliminate the uh, option, or how I'll probably kind of choose that this is probably the right answer, even if I do not know the content in total, the context, entire context. And that is how we kind of try to do the videos. We always thought that we were the ones who are sitting and writing the exam. That is how we felt. So because I think the whole uh, series we try to design that if. i always believe that the person who is setting the question ideally wants you to give the answer okay but yes this need uh, super specialty i don't think it of that <laughs> but uh, definitely somebody when when they set the question the usual tendency is that yeah somebody who has got some idea some context can think should be able to cry and that is how ideally a paper to be set even i was kind of slightly disappointed about this year's neat ss paper uh, but yes as we told uh, we had kind of focused on those few points in between the videos one i remember is probably the carcinoma unknown primary cd10 being an rcc marker i remember it telling the ones yeah. which is said so points to be read the previous night while sleeping yeah. they were all yeah. iits all yes. iits all iits most of them so that was <laughs> like you should have listened you would have gotten it Right. there was nothing missing from there i think all gata c cd10 everything was there in your video yeah. i remember right. seeing your video everything was there so even that uh, sp146 sp the 283 right. d5 d3 right. i remember vijay sir had just thrown it like this is not important but you should know <laughs> 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 it is for you you should know 
Yes, uh, uh, wonderful, Mahek. Um, I'm pretty sure you're going to be great on colleges because I, I can see the passion running through you, and uh, that is what is needed to be a good on colleges. And uh, thank you for making us part of your journey. We are more proud that you have kind of got this right. Uh, for everyone else, I was pretty sure that Mike is going to be there in the top 10 for sure. Uh, she's been consistently performing really well in the Allied Test Series. But not only that, uh, more openly, she was involved in the discussion. Every discussion, she was there. And the moment the question comes up, I can see answers. And in case she's not answering, I know that she's there somewhere or probably she's not answering. I always used to kind of, there are a few students, one probably I uh, recollect Mahak, uh, Hinendra, Shreya, Swastik. These are people probably whom I know were actively involved and I know they're all there. So uh, thank you for uh, making our journey more enjoyable, uh, our work more enjoyable and making giving that confidence that what we're doing is probably right. Thank you for that. Uh, and probably what is your suggestion going to be for the students who are going to appear for the next NEET SS? I know the exam pattern is changed, but INISS is going to be the same. A difficult time for the students, but probably what would be your suggestion? I think work in oncology, very, 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 very important. Though there might be some people telling you, some students, it, it worked for them, I'm pretty sure, right. to take some break, read on your own, then no. Even working for almost 10 to 11 hours a day, if I can go it, then anyone else can do it. There is there's nothing extraordinary about it. But it right. is important to know whether you want to take up oncology and to know oncology, you need to work. You need to work in any center which has oncology. Work for six months, work for seven months, understand the approach and then take a break if you want. Attempt, yes. definitely attempt, but do not make the decision <laughs> before working. Right. I, I always feel that medical oncology is a subject where you need to work. Our exposure during our MD times is not sufficient, uh, not only to kind of answer the exam, but basically more important to know that is this your subject of liking? Is this subject that you want to live your entire life with? This is what you want to do. So uh, absolutely spot on. Uh, thank you, Mahek, for joining us. And more importantly, uh, welcome to more medical oncology. Out. Yes. You have helped us get inside medical oncology. I wish and I hope you can even help us sail through it. Though we will have our mentors no, in our own <laughs> I, I, I was so, about to tell. Because you know how much we know. So I think you'll be the right. best ones to help us even cross through this. From so now, we become totally... the colleagues. Yeah, we, we are colleagues now. And I was just about to tell, welcome to medical oncology. Do not forget us once you get in that we are going to be this part of your journey with uh, along with you anytime we are there and more importantly enjoy oncology i think that is the most important uh, thing to know that whatever you do whatever subject you take uh, maybe uh, cardio neuro whatever be passionate and enjoy it do it for yourself first and do it for others i think that's the most important point from me uh, thank you mike uh, fantastic. Thank you, sir. All India rank 5. Feels really proud. I am uh, really happy that you got this. You very well deserved it. That is uh, no question about it. But seeing you there, it makes us really happy. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. Thank you, Mahesh. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you.